feel very bad right now, so it's just I wanted the second chance because I am not criminal. He is taking sanctuary in a New Haven church. It has opened its doors for a man. He's trying to avoid deportation back to Ecuador. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Scott McDonald, a Meriden father of three, supposed to be flying back to Ecuador today. Instead, a New Haven church is providing safe haven. This is the second time in two weeks an Elm City congregation is stepping in to help somebody facing deportation. News 8's Renee Shamil is following the latest on this story. She's live in New Haven. Renee. And Scott Marco, Reyes and his family were at the church all day long. And as you can imagine, it's been a very emotional day for all of them. And they were at a press conference here that wrapped up just a short time ago. That's video from the press conference. The community gathered to support Reyes, who has three children. He and his wife have lived in the U.S. for the past 20 years. And during that time, he's supported them, working in construction and paying his taxes. But he came to the U.S. from Ecuador without the proper documentation. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, has granted him stays, but back in June, his stay was denied. Senator Richard Blumenthal and New Haven Mayor Tony Harp spoke, and the crowd also heard from Reyes himself, who spoke with a translator. Solo en pensar que voy a estar lejos de mis seres queridos. Just the thought of being away from my loved ones. Pero que encima de eso, but on top of that, exista la posibilidad de no volverlos a ver. Exists the chance that I might never see them again. Eso es un peso y un dolor muy grande para ellos y para mí. It's a very heavy burden for them and of course for me. Harp said New Haven will remain a sanctuary city and will continue to welcome and protect people like Reyes. Live in New Haven, Renee Schmiel, News 8.